fell. Oh, wait, no! It's like, oh, yes, at the same time, oh, no! Hello, Duelists! Russ Mero here, and today we're going to be opening a box of Chaos Impact. Alright then, let's get started with the very first set in the Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG to feature Link 5 Monsters. With, of course, the cover card, Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid. I am really hoping we manage to pull it. I, I think it is the only Link 5 in this set. And let me just focus for you guys. Looks like we're starting with a Dino Wrestler. Dino Wrestler Marshall Ampello, followed by Arrow Mage Laurier. We are getting some Arrow Mage Legacy support in this set as well. Followed by the Dark Fairy Luna, a level 4 monster, okay. And okay, this is a Hakai spell, Whale of the Hakai Shin. I am looking forward to getting some Hakai cards in this set as well. And we are ending off with a, yeah, more Gladiator Beast support, a Gladiator Beast Rare, Gladiator Beast Vespasias. Moving on to the second pack. Wow, so already we are seeing like quite a bit of awesome, uh, Legacy support for older archetypes, especially Gladiator Beast. Like, I was totally not expecting to see some new Gladiator, Gladiator Beast cards in a while. And looks like first we have our Hakai Doji Rakia, the blue Doji of the Hakai archetype, followed by Evolt Mega Kirela. Yes, the Evol Sor series is another one that I was really not expecting to see new cards for. This is DD Patrol Plane, a different dimension card. And oh wow, is that. Oh, that's only a super rare, but let's put this aside and take a look at our uh, rare first. Hop Ear Flying Squad. And our first super rare is actually going to be the new boss monster for our, a new synchro boss monster for Arrow Mage, Aroma Seraphi Sweet Majoram. To synchro summon this level 6 monster, you'll need one tuner plus one or more non tuner monsters. This card name's first and third effects can only be activated once per turn. First effect if this card is synchro summoned, you can add one Humid Winds, one Dried Winds, or one Blessed Winds from your deck to your hand. Second effect when your life points are higher than your opponent's while this card is on your field, your opponent cannot target plant type monsters you control with effects. Third effect, if you gain life, target one card on the opponent's field and destroy it. So Aromage and Aroma Seraphy is actually a card is actually a deck that I was really quite interested in when it first came out because of its interesting gimmick and well since they're on Duel Links I also had a chance to play them on Duel Links as well since I was kind of into plant decks at the, at the time but I think there's a really nice support for the deck as a whole but I'm not that big of a fan on the design. Marine says Mandarin Oh, and here we have an Infinitrack monster, or as I prefer to call them by the Japanese name, Infinite Ignition. And this one is called Brutal Dozer. Nice, like, it's so nice for them to just bring in some Infinite Track uh, support just like that. And what is this? Bayonetta the Magical Scope. I wonder if it's like an effect, if it has an equip effect, because it looks like a weapon for a monster to use, not an actual monster itself. Jelly Cannon System, and oh, World Legacy World Key, like, we are really reaching like the end of the story already. Like, I think this pack should be the end of World Legacy if I'm not wrong, but I mean, who knows, right? Here we go into pack number four. <laughs> that one was quite annoying to open. And we've got another Marine Cess here, Crown Tail, followed by Hakai Doji Alha. So now we've got one of the blue and one of the reds. And this is Marine Cess Crystal Heart. Oh man, this just brings back so many feels for Earth and Aqua from the series. And oh, oh, it's that old man with like the weird medicine, the, the, that old car. Cauldron of the Old Man. Wow, it's so cool to see him return to the game. Whoa, whoa, wait. That totally just came out of nowhere, but man. It is no Dark Flute, but this is definitely one of the other cards I definitely want to get as well. And it looks so perfect in Ultimate Rare. The Hakai Sowo Shin Raigo, the current final Link boss, Link 4 of the Hakai archetype. Alright, uh, we're gonna put the lower rarities on the left, on the right, I mean, and the higher rarities on the left. I'm not gonna go through its effect because I think those of you guys who pay attention to the OCG and mana game will probably already be very familiar with this guy's effect. And for those of you guys who are not, uh, you guys can check out my uh, Hakai archetype introduction video because I really talk about it a lot there as well. Here we have Chobam Armor Dragon, I assume this is for Revolver, another Alha, Prometerion the Burning Asteroid. Wow, that's a pretty badass sounding card and it looks pretty cool as well from the design. Soul Rev, Soul Levy I mean, and whoa, wait, isn't this, well this insane looking ultra rare is actually Yatano Misaki the Mechanical Bird and 
Yeah, it, it is similar in style to that other, I think, ultra rare monster as well that I think we got in the previous set. I think it was in Savage Strike, but it's basically the mechanical snake. So we have the mechanical snake and the mechanical bird. And I think the mechanical snake was like something Orochi, but basically both of these monsters are like mechanical versions of certain creatures that are tied to Japanese mythology and folklore. This card name, second and third effects can only be activated once per turn. First effect, you can special summon this card from your hand by tributing one monster on your field that was normal summoned. Second effect, during the main phase of the turn in which this monster was normal or special summoned, you can perform an additional normal summon. But during the turn you use this effect, you can only special summon monsters of the same type as the monster that you summon with this effect. Okay, now, that's a pretty complicated effect. But essentially what this means is that this card is generally aimed towards support for machine decks. Third effect, if this card is tributed after it was special summoned using its first effect, regain 2050 life. Wow. This just feels like a really interesting card overall. I feel like there's quite a bit to break down here. But essentially, I just feel like it's a pretty nice uh, generic machine card to support extra deck summons in machine type decks. For example, you just you basically during your turn you tribute a monster to special summon this, but during during that turn you get an additional normal summon as well, so you can bring another monster to use as material. But since you special summon this card, any monster that you special summon has to be machine. So generally it works best in machine decks, but basically just by making use of its first effect and into its second effect, you can get a lot of materials for an instant extra deck summon right away. Here we've got Rakia, the Hakai Doji again, and what is this? Briny Ghoul, okay, it seems, yeah, it's a Sea Serpent, alright. Well, always nice to see some Sea Serpent cards. Protocol Gardner, uh, Cybers, I believe, yes. Spiritual Energy Entanglement, followed by a uh, Tenny Dragon Ashuna. And yes, this should be the Light Tenny Dragon, right? <laughs> I, I forgot that TNE was even a thing, like, I don't know man, I sorry to you guys who are actually really interested in TNE or playing it, but I feel like it's kind of a forgettable archetype really. And oh, we've got a normal monster here, Suppress Collider, wow that's pretty nice, uh, Cybers as well. Okay, and Marine says Sea Angel, uh, we've got seen this guy, oh, who is this, oh, whoa, rank 4 XCs, I'm always a fan of rank 4 XCs, and what, okay. What? Let's take a look at this one first. This is Nebula, the Star Cloud Dragon, one of the new support cards for uh, Missile's Tachyon deck. And this is Granite Loyalist. Don't know whether you guys can see, but this guy is actually just literally a samurai statue like made of stone, which is pretty cool. Uh, to, it is a stone type, and to Xyz monster, uh, to Xyz summon this card, I mean, you'll just need two level 4 monsters, very nice, very generic. This card name's effect can only be activated once per turn. Detach one of this card's Xyz materials, choose one of the following two effects and activate it. First choice, add one rock type monster from your deck to your hand. Second choice, special summon a rock type monster from your hand in face down defense position. Wait a minute, isn't that pretty damn cool? Like. If I'm not wrong, isn't this the first time we've got an effect that allows you to special summon a monster and face down? Well, I could be wrong because I don't pay attention to like every single card that comes out. Let me know if there's another one, but I'm thinking like, isn't that the first time we've got something as cool as that? Here we have Gladiator Beast Sagittari, like that's the kind of name I would expect from that card. We've seen Luna and... Okay, it's literally Marine Says Snow. I should have just gone ahead. We've seen West Pasias. Moving on to the next pack. That's kind of weird, like, I feel like we're seeing a lot of repeats already. Oh yes, and again we've got Crown Tail. Oh, here's a new one, Gladiator Beast Arterix. The new Gladiator Beast cards have so awesome designs though. Old Mind. Yes, I was wondering if I actually said the name wrong, but it actually is that. And this rare is Malie Marine Angel Blue Tan. Blue Tang, I mean. I mean, that's the name of the fish, apparently. Ah, okay, so, well, we've technically, yeah, we only got 4 fires so far, so we're still kind of just getting started. We've still got a chance to get that Dark Fluid. Spiral Dragon Bulge. <laughs> I can see why it's Spiral, I don't really see why it's Bulge. Uh, Arrow Mage uh, Majoram, the normal monster ver I mean, the main deck monster version of the Sweet Majoram, our new Aroma Seraphy boss. Rain says Snow we've seen, and Hakai Shin Ragia, or Hakai Shin is Hakai God, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> Moving on to the next pack, so, okay, we've got the blue god, we've got the final god, so we just need a red one now, Choba Marmon Dragon again, we've seen this ever, oh, we are seeing a lot of this Luna card, Marine says Battle Ocean, wow, wait, that is a pretty epic sounding card, and it is a field spell, it is pretty cool, and oh, right, this one, 
Marine says Wonder Hearts. This is a uh, Blue Angel's final boss card. Unfortunately, it's only a rare, but that's something I think all of us have come to sort of expect from like the anime anime exclusive archetypes we've seen so far, including Dino Wrestlers. Only the main ones have been like getting like really good OCG cards like Revolver's Deck and Playmaker. Uh, we've seen this Dino Wrestler, Bulge is back. Uh, the DD plane. Oh, and here we have Slave Panther. This is actually a Gladiator B support link card and the Hop Eared Flying Squad. Again, let's take a look at this guy. So, Link summon Slave Panther. You'll need two monsters, including a Gladiator Beast monster. This card names first and second effects can only be activated once per turn. First effect if this card is Link summoned, you can add one Gladiator Beast card from your deck to your hand. Second effect you can target one Gladiator Beast monster on your field. Return that monster to its owner's deck and special summon one Gladiator Beast monster with a different original name from your deck. And treat it as if it was special summoned by the effect of a gladiator beast monster man i have never like properly played act, properly played gladiator beast before like i never never really was that interested in making a proper deck for the archetype but i've gone up against it and that sounds like a really nice really sick effect for a link support monster for the deck as a whole that is so sick because it's so important that you special summon your gladiator beast with your gladiator beast in order to activate their effects and sometimes you can't do it because they have to battle so that you can shuffle them back and bring out another one so this slave panther just gives you so many more options dino wrestler valionix the second new dino wrestler i believe are tricks getting a lot of laurier Marine says Cataract. Okay, that's a weird name for that card artwork. And we've got another World Key. And what? Oh, hold on. I accidentally took a pack from the second stack right there, but let's go ahead and see what it contains. Who knows, maybe it contains our Dark Fluid. And here we've got Valionix Artrix again, the DD plane. Oh, nice! Wait, this is the Magatama of the Hakai Shins. Another Hakai foil, a blue tank. As usual, I'm not gonna go through the effect for this one. Most of you guys should be familiar already, and if you're not, uh, feel free to check out the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki or my Hakai video. Man, I mean like, I think so too many people and Yu-Gi-Oh! Tubers have already gone through like the effects of the Hakai. And here we've got Suppress Collider. I'm just gonna go through these quickly since we've seen them! And our second Ultra Rare of this set is the Ultra Rare. I think it's an Ultra Rare Synchro. I believe this is the new like boss for the TNE archetype and their current strongest monster. Maybe, I'm not sure. I honestly don't keep track of TNE. But anyway, this is the Dragon Demon God of TNE. To Synchro summon this level 8 Worm, you'll need one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. Okay, that's surprisingly generic. This card name's first and second effects can only be activated once per turn. When your opponent activates a monster effect, you can banish that monster. Wow, simple and awesome. If this card attacks, destroys an effect monster and sends it to the grave, increase this card's attack by the original attack of the destroyed monster. During this battle phase, this card can conduct another attack on a monster. Whoa, wait. That is pretty insane. Like, especially the fact that it is... It has, a, it has a very generic summoning condition, so you could basically just play it as like a staple or like just utility in any synchro deck and just bring it out for level 8 and like it will cause so much destruction. It's on effect monsters which is like basically almost every deck nowadays. Then we've got Sagittari, Evolved, uh, Report Called Garner again, Hakai Homily, followed by another Ashuna, the Light Tian E Dragon, but yes, I, I still can't get over that. Dragon Demon God. Like, isn't that too good for a generic? But I mean, technically, we did get, like, stuff like Trishula before, but I guess it's not that OP, but I can just see it, like, being so useful. And here we have, yep. Whoa, that's almost exactly what's this. Rebirth Revision is definitely related to World Legacy somehow. I see the World Key right there. Okay, the packs today are being quite stubborn with their plastic. Occasionally, we get boxes with packs like these. Maybe it's a sign that it's fresh. And I guess that's a good thing. But wow, we are really seeing a lot of repeats. Gladiator Beast Comeback. What a fitting card to add to a set which features the return of Gladiator Beast after so long. And whoa, our third Ultra Rare has just come in and it is the new Gladiator Beast boss. Gladiator Beast Domitianos. To fusion summon Domitianos, you'll need to fuse Gladiator Beast, Vespasias, and two Gladiator Beast monsters. 
for a total of three materials. As usual, it has the typical Gladiator Beast uh, contact fusion effect, not gonna read it out in full. First effect, once per turn when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can negate that effect and destroy it. Second effect, while this card is on the field, you get to choose the targets of your opponent's monster's attacks. Yes, I mentioned this uh, effect in the community tab like I think about a few weeks ago and it is so insane, I just love it so much. And it's so interesting and new as well. Third effect, at the end of a battle phase in which this unit battle, you can return this card to its owner's extra deck, special summon one gladiator beast monster from your deck. Very nice. Uh, okay, let, let me figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Let, let's just connect them here first and put it like this. Yes. Something like that and we'll continue on with the next deck because we still have our secret rare coming in. We've got three ultras and one ultimate, so our secret is literally our last chance to get Dark Fluid. I am really hoping we are gonna get the Dark Fluid here, if not, uh, that'll be pretty disappointing because it's a Link 5, man! Hakai Dual Dirge. Alright, ah, Blessed Winds, right. The new Winds card to go with Arrow Mage and Aroma Seraphy. Okay, got this pack open. Come on, Dark Fluid, Dark Fluid. Clown Tail, uh, Arha, we've seen. United Gladiator Beast, very cool, and followed by... Okay, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki localizes this as Mad Gladiator Beast, but it would be more accurate to translate it as something like Fierce Rush of the Gladiator Beast or Mad Rush would make more sense. Mad alone doesn't really get the full uh, idea of the card name in Japanese there. And also, if you guys didn't notice the new Gladiator Beast Ultra Rare, it, the guy basically is wearing all of like the Gladiator Beast equips, and that is so cool. And here we have Chobam Armor again. Oh, an ultra rare, what is this? Sorry, I meant super rare, and it is the Star Leech Dragon Seifat. Followed by, hold up, isn't this for Evil Eye? The Evil Eye of Gorgoneo. Wow, it's interesting to see like Evil Eye get some support as well. Like, I just feel like they've been so neglected since they came out. I mean, Infinite Ignition, aka Infinite Track as well. Let's take a look at Seifat. This card name's first and second effects can only be activated once per turn. First effect, you can send any number of Dragon-type monsters from your hand or face up on your field to the grave. Add one Dragon-type monster from your deck to your hand with a level equal to the combined original levels of the monsters that you send to the grave. So, I'm assuming this is going to be like support for uh, the Tachyon deck mainly, maybe possibly for Galaxy Eyes as well. So you'll probably be sending two dragons in order, uh, two level four dragons to bring in a level eight dragon. Second effect, you can banish this card from your grave. Target one light or dark attribute dragon type level eight monster in your grave and add it to your hand. So yeah, he's just gonna be a searcher for the Tachyon deck, basically help you get those level 8 dragons that are like really easy to summon so that you can assemble two of them, bring out your Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon number 107 and I just recently reached that part of the Zale arc in uh, Legacy of Zulis Link Evolution as well. Gladial Naumachia? I'm not sure, I think Naumachia is probably... A word from a different language that probably means sea battle or something like that. Meanwhile, this rare is Gladial Rejection. So back to English with that one, that was weird. Wait, is it like Italian? Because Gladiator is right, and Gladiator is associated with Rome, I don't know. We are just seeing Aroma Gardening, okay, a uh, continuous spell. Oh, wait, no, it's like, oh yes, at the same time, oh no, because it is so cool. This is one of the cards I really wanted to get too, but it's not Dark Fluid, but oh well. We managed to get the ultimate, uh, the new Link 4 Trump card for Salaman Grey, the Link 4 boss. Salaman Grey Pyro Phoenix, and it looks so cool, especially in that secret rare foiling. It looks so badass, I loved it when Soulburner brought this guy out in like his duel against Windy. Oh man, this is so intense. To Link summon this monster, you'll need two or more fire attribute effect monsters. This card name's second and third effects can only be activated once per turn. First effect, if this card is reincarnation Link summon with itself as material, you can destroy all cards on the opponent's field. Very nice. Now, that is the kind of reincarnation like effect I want. Like I like sell I like a uh, heat Leos, but it is a bit anticlimactic in a way. I really love how Pyro Phoenix Pyro Phoenix is like a really destructive one, you know. Revives comes back, so comes back on the field and just smashes everything. Second effect, you can target one link monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon it to your opponent's field. Wait. 
Why, why would you do this? Third effect, if a link monster is special summoned to your opponent's side of the field, you can target one of those monsters, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. Now I know why you want to special summon a link monster to the opponent's side of the field. Oh man, wait, that is so sick. Like, oh man, you can just bring out one with really high attack, inflict the damage, reincarnate Pyro Phoenix to blow it back into the grave along with all the other cards on your opponent's field. Oh man, that is so sick. Salamangrid is going to get even stronger because of this, right? Tachyon Galaxy Spiral. Needed a while to read that. And the Shackles of the Sowo. Uh, rare for Hakai. Oh man. I am not used to having all of my my three ultra rares, my secret and my ultimate coming out before I get all of my supers. And oh, Salaman Great Transcend, but even though they write Transcend there, the Japanese actually translates literally to Super Reincarnation. So yes, probably a new reincarnation spell for them. Not having to use Salaman Great Sanctuary. It is Sanctuary, right, if I remember correctly. And whoa, what is this beast of a rock gorilla? Wait, and what is this insect? So this is Seraphim Papillon, followed by Congrate, the apex of conglomerates. Yeah, I do remember the people, the guys, the good guys at YG organization actually mentioning this card. This card cannot be normal summoned and can only be special summoned by the effects of cards. If a monster is sent from your opponent's hand or deck to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand in face down defense position. Oh, so this guy goes with Granite Loyalist. There's some, I don't know, some new rock type deck thing going on. That is so interesting. I really like to find out more about this. If this card is flipped face up, you can target up to two cards on the field and destroy them. Wow, so it is a flip monster in its own right as well. I'm just gonna move the box aside there. We'll just put it like this. And we are down with only four packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. And we still have four packs left. I guess uh, we might have one more super, but wait, we already have six supers. Eleki Kansha, localized as Watt Train, so it's for the Watt deck, and looks like we have a new. I wait, did it was was Evil Eye Link? I can't remember, but anyway, here's a new Link to for Evil Eye, the Evil Eye Queen Gorgone, and oh, this goes with that rare uh. Equip spell for Evil Eye we saw just now, that is basically her Evil Eye. Dude, I almost busted my thumb opening this one. And yes, if you're new here and wondering why I'm not using the slit on the side of the packs to tear them open, I just don't like doing that. I've always been opening them like this. Hitori Boshi, now that's a really cute looking card. And we finally got the last piece of Hakai, the Hakai Shin Alba. Yeah, so now we've got one of each, oh yeah, we got both dojis. All three Link monster gods and the Magatama as well. Oh, nice. And if I am not wrong, we also got all of the spells and traps, but that's if all of them are rares and there are no foils, no super rares, because I think we got a lot of them. Crusher Run, this is obviously for Infinite Ignition Soko, and wow, just nice, another Ragia. And moving on to our final pack of Chaos Impact. I don't think we have any chances of getting a, a dark fluid at this point, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. Majoram. On the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikia, this is localized as World Legacy Continuation, but I would like to just offer my own translation for this. This is sort of like, to where the world legacies lead. Yeah, because that's exactly the wording they use here. So it's like giving the idea of how the world legacies have actually led all of the different world legacy characters to something and what that is, well, we gotta look at the cards and find out, man. And our last card is just a rare Wonder Heart, and that'll be all for this Chaos Impact Booster Box opening. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG Booster Box and product openings on the day of release. Our next release is going to be the next deck build pack, Mystic Fighters, on August 3rd, that will introduce Zanki Generate as well as Dragon Maid, so Whoever you are, whatever kind of deck, archetypes or characters you like, there's gonna be something for you there, so make sure you guys stick around and check it out. And with that, hope to see you guys in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Shh. Let's go and look ahead.
no chance and color, so color, keep into my life, I will show